welcome back to the studio. Another excellent match from our women's division. We'll be bringing you the very best from our women's division each and every week right here on this program. It's time for the main event. And the stakes couldn't get any higher than this. Howdy Price is charging bull Rogelio put his mask on the line against the monstrous Watts and his Heritage Championship. I remember this all too well. We were extremely surprised that Rogelio and Howdy would risk the mask. I talked to Gentleman Jervis about the rich tradition and just how much those masks mean to Lucha Libre and among professional wrestlers. This, it was a big gamble. Let's see if it pays off. Back to the ring. Getting set for our main event, Rogelio putting a whole lot on the line. Had a couple close calls in his bids for the Hollywood Heritage title. Came up short against Watts, so he had to up the ante and put his mask on the line in this main event to get one more shot at the Hollywood Heritage Championship. Main event time, the Ominous music of the dominant Hollywood Heritage Champion, Watts. Watts has a couple victories over Rogelio, but certainly had to earn them. Always tough when these two big heavyweight bulls lock horns. But then when Rogelio said, you know what, I'll put my mask on the line, Watts was happy to oblige and give Rogelio one more shot at the prestigious Hollywood Heritage title. Which brings us to today, Kennelly. That man right there might be responsible for taking Rogelio's mask off his face and revealing who he is. If we hear this music one more time, that's how we know it's over for Rogelio. The stakes are indeed very high and here to set the stage, ring announcer, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall, and it is Mask versus Title. Introducing first, the challenger, being accompanied in the ring by Howdy Price, from the Price Check Ranch, weighing in at 240 pounds, Ranchero Rogelio. And introducing his opponents, here's the Hollywood Heritage Champion. This is Watts. Stage is set, Hollywood Heritage title main event, but that's not all. If Rogelio loses, he loses the mask, he exposes his identity. That's what he was willing to put on the line to get one more shot at the Heritage title. A title that he has been in the hunt for for quite some time, all the way back to before Coastline Clash when Andy Brown was the champion. But he has come closer than ever before and than anyone else to defeating Watts. And is this added pressure just what the doctor ordered to push Rogelio over the edge to where he can finally topple the giant? You know what, they say if you're going to shoot for the moon, at the very least, you might be able to land on the star. But today, that's not gonna be good enough for Rogelio. Rogelio has to reach all the way up to the peak of the mountain. He must defeat this giant. He must do something to watch that he was not successful at doing before. And if he doesn't, he's walking home without that mask. And it must, it must be noted, if we look back at the record books, Rogelio does have a, a history of in essence, a Lucha de Apuesta matchup on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood where a mask was on the line. Rogelio victorious, forcing the spirit and the stars to unmask. That, of course, led them to be exposed as uh, Fidel Bravo and Adrian Quest. And a whole lot of history between those two ever since. Absolutely. So would this be karma, you might say, Kennedy? Would this be karma coming back to haunt him after he made sure that mask came off? Could his mask now be in, in trouble? That's what he's have is he has that in his mind and you listen to the crowd they were chanting earlier mask coming off mask coming off listen to them now mask off mask off and that's got to get into his head You got to believe that it does but again Rogelio put that on the line much to the chagrin as you documented 
of Howdy Price. Howdy Price come, come, came out here flustered. He's not singing his jingle. You know, he, he's not happy that Rogelio made this decision without his guidance. You know, absolutely not. I, I, I heard him in the back. In fact, well before well before this, this event started, I heard yelling and screaming, and it was all from Howdy Price to, to Rogelio. What are you thinking? Now I have to dig you out of this mess. Now I have to clean up the pieces. Look at this. Wow, Rogelio, see this is how bad he wants it. Now putting down watch with that strength. Rogelio had the upper hand in a test of strength against Watts. And now momentum and advantage the other way as the dominant champion getting the upper hand. But burying the knee into the midsection is Rogelio. Yeah, but I'm sure Howdy Price will be the first one to take credit, credit and say, yeah, glad I thought of it if Rogelio becomes the Heritage Champion. You know, the saying is, Kelly, that success has many fathers and failure is an orphan. And that might be true for the fact that, that Howdy Price would be very pleased with Rogelio's performance tonight if he wa does walk home the champion. But I will tell you this, Rogelio has this in his favor. He cannot lose this match. It is no more a fact that that he wants that title is the fact that he doesn't want to lose that mask. It's more motivation. It's everything keeping him going, keeping his head in the game. He might walk home your new Cover champion. now after the backbreaker by Watts. And almost had it jeopardized there, Ken Lane. Even with a simple mistake can, can make sure that, that, that he is planted on that mat forever. He cannot make those mistakes tonight. It's, it's a must win for both. Both have big time trophies and everything to lose on the line here. The heritage title for Watts, the mask, and everything that goes along with it for Rogelio. But it does make it that must win situation for Rogelio. He walked away from a match with Watts at one point. He doesn't have that luxury this time out. Fall away slam by the champion. Oh, tr crowd now chanting one more time, and Watts looks like he's going to oblige for that, and that doesn't vote well for Rogelio at this point. And these fall away slams from Watts do usually come in pairs to the detriment here of Rogelio, who receives another one. You can see the pain etched across the massive back there of the Golden Bull with the charging horn. Oh my oh, gosh, no. he's calling for the music. Well, that's some serious confidence when you're in there with Rogelio, but Watts has been dominant. Howdy's got a, a hold of the leg. Howdy now being in a little bit of an interference. Rogelio might have his fighting chance. Oh, he, what a shot. Big flying shoulder tackle. That big missile and a count of two. The music is still playing. At least it was. And, that distraction by Howdy allowed Rogelio, the number one contender, to get an advantage. And right now, after that flying shoulder block, he's got Watts in trouble. You know what? Rogelio is now bound top. And what did we say earlier? What is Howdy going to do? That might have just been one of the tricks that he had up his sleeve to pull Rogelio out of the situation he's in. He's going to be a factor. He's going to be an interference. And he's proud to let Watts know that. Look at him get in the face of Watts now. Look at him taking advantage of Watts on the outside. That's how he's going to be a factor to ensure that Rogelio does not dig himself into a deeper hole. And Rogelio now after that blatant choke right into the cover. So although it didn't seem like it coming in from the words we heard before, it seems like Rogelio and Howdy on the same page. Rogelio in control. This match, high stakes matchup continues next. COVID-19 is spreading, but here are some tips you can do to protect yourself. Wash your hands often. Keep a social distance of at least three feet. Cough into your elbow. Your face, don't touch it. And of course, if you feel sick, stay home. Let's all do our part to flatten the curve. Championship Wrestling would like to thank our sponsors for the birthday bash. A new date will be announced soon, but until then, be sure to support our great tag team partners.
she's got this. Last week, you saw part one of our special interview with Memphis legend King Cobra inside Mid-South Coliseum, and today is part two. It's always cool to get a peek inside the Mid-South Coliseum. Let's take a look. Just look around. I know a lot has changed over the years. What do you think of the building being in it first time in 30 years and, and all the stories that you heard about the Coliseum and right. what condition it was in? What do you think? No, but uh, you know, uh, other than a few ceiling tiles that are coming down, everything still looks the same. You know, uh, I thought it would be all gutted and cluttered, but it's really not. And and to me, you know, a few lights, a couple of brooms, and, and we could be back in business. And yeah, I wish, I, I, I hate to see it in this situation, but uh, it could be in worse because they was talking about demolishing the place at one time. And I've always thought that there was, you know, a lot of memories and not just for the local people here in Memphis, people from all over the world have right. been here for concerts and graduations and weddings and just everything, you know. Every, a lot of things happen in this building, a lot of things happen around this building. This was the center point of the fair, bro. Yeah, and you're a big Memphis Tigers fan. We don't have to tell them that, they already yeah. know. A lot of Tigers games went down in here too. Games. And going back to the match, is there anything standing here that sparks your memory of anything in particular of that match, whether it was the audience or something that was set in the ring? Give us some inside scoop on back then. Well, you know, um, back then, okay, Lalo was always, you know, he, he, he called himself the king of Memphis. That's how, in fact, that's how the match became about because I was King Cobra and he said he was right. the king of Memphis and he didn't want the two to entwine. So, uh, something happened on TV and I slapped him or something. He said something and I it pissed me off and I slapped him. But in the end, he agreed to give me a match. And I tell you, cockiness is what brought the whole thing about. He was cocky at the TV station. He was cocky in the ring and he just misjudged me. And uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I, hey, I wasn't the greatest, but I wasn't the worst either. So on that night, on December 30th in 89, were they rooting for King Cobra or were they cheering for Jerry Lawler? Well, then naturally they was cheering for Lawler, but then I would say I showed him up, but I can't say I showed him up because when I looked at him, there was a lot of miles. Couldn't yeah, shocked, it. right? Yeah. Couldn't believe it. No, it, it, it's kind of like uh, there was this fighter named Muhammad Ali once used to say, I'm going to shock the world, but I didn't shock the world, but I think I shocked Memphis. Yeah. Time. Welcome back to our high stakes main event. The mask of Rogelio on the line, but he does have a, he possesses a tremendous amount of strength in there. He uses his very uh, compact frame to pet every single ounce of muscle he can to make sure that he gets his opponent as far away from the ring as possible. And that's what he's doing now, and he's using that to control Watts. Another big shot drops the champion into the cover, does not elect to hook the leg, which is a chore in and of itself when you're in there with, with Watts. But you know, although they didn't seem to be on the same page, you know, in, in these recent title defenses, Howdy Price wasn't there. Perhaps Howdy Price might be that missing piece to the puzzle for Rogelio to finally claim Heritage, the Heritage title. Absolutely, Rogelio is not in there by himself. He did not get to where he is because he is great on his own. And no, make no mistake about it, Rogelio is fantastic. He's amazing. But, but Howdy Price is that missing piece to the puzzle. And now that he's here again, think about it. We haven't seen him for a very long time. He hasn't been in this corner. He hasn't been out here at ringside. So, so now that he's out here, Rogelio is doing much, much better. Watts is being tripped up. Rogelio is doing, uh, he's capitalizing on, on Watts' mistakes like he's never before. He might walk home your champion, Kennelly. Look out here, though, in the launch position. Rogelio, though, out the back door and another big shot. And when Watts was down in the corner, you saw that it, it shifted his focus to Howdy Price. So the champion is distracted. These two monsters, this looks like a, a battle that could take place on Skull Island or the streets of Tokyo in a Godzilla movie. Two big monsters just going toe to toe. Absolutely, and here Rogelio goes after. 
but Watts counters. You're right. This is like watching King Kong or Godzilla or Mothra. These, the, the, and they're they're taking the entire ring with them. They're taking these people with them. Listen to them going crazy, and you can see Howdy Price on the outside shouting instructions to Rogelio, perhaps on deaf ears, perhaps off or not, as Watts now makes his way up to cover and maybe seal in the fate of Rogelio. Both champion and challengers, you take a good look at Howdy Price on the outside. Champion challenger so impressive. We've seen the strength of Rogelio. We saw the agility of Watts, this giant, leaving his feet for a drop kick. And these two, what do they possibly have left in the tanks? Oh, this isn't good for Rogelio. Up he goes. Nice counter, though, to the choke to sleep. Rogelio had him up momentarily. No, this is not where you want to be. The DNR do not resuscitate. Cover. Oh, Rogelio digs down deep and kicks at two. Can you imagine how badly he wants it? Not only has he put his mask on the line, but he kicks out of the DNR, and you don't see that too often. That's that strength, that's that tenacity. That's him reaching deep down within himself and getting everything he can to come out victorious. Champion looking like he's going to go bowling here, taking the challenger back up, looking for a second DNR. But an, another nice counter there by Rogelio. Look out, official! Oh my gosh, he got absolutely annihilated! Rogelio inadvertently taking out the official, and this switches out the game intensely, intensely. Well, with so much on the line, there's no official right now to call for a cover, a submission to officiate the action. Anything goes. Watts again, he had his distraction on how, or to his focus on Howdy Price, and it cost the champion in a big way. Howdy Price once again becoming a factor in there, and Watts can't do that. He's the champion. He needs to be smart. He needs to be cunning, but he's not doing that. Howdy Price is getting in his head. Howdy Price is doing exactly what he said. He is pulling Rogelio out of a bad situation. This right now is favoring Rogelio. We could be witnessing history right now, Kennelly. Both guys are in a potentially deadly situation here. Look at Hurricane Rada! by Rogelio on the champion. He's got him center of the ring, looking to capitalize. Rogelio into the cover. The referee starts to stir. Here's the count of one, two, history to be made. No, no sir. That was nearly a photo finish between the hand coming down and the shoulder coming up so very close. Did you see that, Kennelly? The only person that might have been more surprised than Rogelio was me. And perhaps Hattie Price will already grab the belt, but now the boot coming up with Rogelio. The referee now taking that away, not allowing that to be a factor. But look right now with Rogelio has the belt. This could be dangerous for Watts. He's got the Heritage title. Oh, he clocks the champ with his own title. Watts is out cold. Not this way. Come there on. There it is. Give me a Two. break. No. Watts. Finds a way! He's not human! No way, Kennelly. That should have been it. He should have been done. He should have been finished. What more does Rogelio have to do to put this giant down? You can see the challenger. He caught all of that shot with the Heritage Championship. Rogelio astonished that that wasn't enough. Nobody home for the frog splash. Watts is back on his feet. Big right hand, he's got him throttled. Howdy Price now pulling out the last trick of his book, getting up on that ring apron. He's back in a factor, no! Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Caltech wonders where the earthquake came from. Into the choke for center of the ring. Champion retains, and that's just the first Here part is of your the story. winner, and still, Hollywood Heritage Champion, Watts! Generally, that was so back and forth, I couldn't even know where to call it. The fact that Watts wins means two things. One, Watts obviously retains his title, and that's fantastic, but what does this mean for Rogelio? It was a titanic clash of the titans between Watts and Rogelio. I can't believe that Watts was able to survive that shot with the title, and now it's got to be sinking in to Rogelio. He wanted one more shot, but now he's going to lose it all. Oh, you got to feel sorry for that young man. He knows. He knows, and off, it, off it's coming, Kennelly. This is he, it. He nodded affirmatively, did Rogelio. He knows what he's got to do. He put it on the line. He's got a man up here. 
He certainly manned up by giving Watts one hell of a fight. Oh! Kenley, that's Jay Cabrera! That is Shea Cabrera. He's got a lot of history on this program. He was part of the revolution. Well, you, you gotta you gotta respect Rogelio and now Cabrera for, for doing the right thing. Oh my goodness, Kennelly. That took a lot of fortitude. That took a lot of guts. And there is your champion. And there is the fallen slain, Che Cabrera. I, this has been one surprise after another, Kennelly. Welcome back to the studio. Howdy Price fails once again at capturing <laughs> championship gold. Man, poor guy. I know, right? The respect Rogelio displayed afterward by kneeling with his mask is what professional wrestling is all about. And Watts is still your heritage champion to this very day. And Rogelio is still beating people up as one half of the undefeated Wolf Daddies. Yeah, he 